Hello, Sergeant Spencer Cannon here. We are doing a solo version of Jeff and Spencer. Uh, obviously, I am not Jeff, I'm Spencer. But what we want to talk to you about today is uh, something that we are trying for a first time here, and that is talking about a specific job opening that we have here at the Utah County Sheriff's Office. We are going to be putting out a job announcement next Monday. Uh, that would be Monday, May 10th for enforcement uh, deputies in the Utah County Sheriff's Office. Now, enforcement, I think uh, when we say enforcement, uh, a number of different things may come to people's minds. One of the reasons we wanted to come up here into Provo Canyon is to give people who might be interested in this particular job an idea of where their office may be on any given day. Now, everybody has a, a physical office, a headquarters, if you will, where they have a desk and computers and things like that. Uh, the Utah County Sheriff's Office has a jail. That's part of our office in Spanish Fork, but we have several other offices. We have uh, contract cities that we do work for. Uh, the biggest ones of those are Eagle Mountain and Vineyard City. We have Cedar Fort, Elk Ridge, Woodland Hills, Goshen, Fairfield the other ones and so we have a variety of things that we do but I'm going to touch on those here just to let you know if you happen to be in a position where you're interested in something like this or you know somebody who might be interested in a an enforcement job with the Utah County Sheriff's Office uh, to put them in touch with us so uh, an enforcement position there's a variety of things that we have here at the Utah County Sheriff's Office that uh, might be that would be part of our enforcement position that we're hiring for. Uh, one of those is investigations or, or detectives and we have uh, detectives who cover the, the things that people most often think about, you know, the property crimes, uh, financial crimes. Uh, also we have a, uh, a unit in the Sheriff's Office who do special victims investigations. Those most typically are sex crimes involving children and adults as well who uh, have been victim, uh, victims of sex crimes. Um, we also have our patrol division. That's probably when we talk about enforcement, the one that people think of most, uh, most often, and that is uh, deputies who are most of them driving marked uh, patrol vehicles that say Utah County Sheriff on the side of them. And these are some of the areas that we cover up here. Uh, we're in Provo Canyon right now on Squaw Peak Road. And uh, this is some of the area that we have responsibility to cover. We work with the Forest Service in these particular areas here, but there aren't very many Forest Service enforcement officers. They cover a huge area that's bigger than Utah County. And so we do the, the bulk of the enforcement work in the Forest Service areas, in addition to some other areas that have uh, a variety of state lands or public lands, including state land, uh, BLM land, national forest land, even national monument land, such as uh, Tempanogos Cave National Monument in American Fork Canyon. Uh, we have judicial services. That involves a variety of things, uh, paper service. So if somebody is uh, being evicted from a property or if they, they have to be served certain kinds of papers, either a protective order or things like that, then uh, our judicial services folks do those. Also in our judicial services division, uh, we do ext extradition. So if somebody commits a crime in Utah and then they either flee or they just move to another state, and they interact with law enforcement there and they discover that there's a, 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 a warrant here in Utah for them, then uh, people in our judicial services uh, office will go and extradite them and bring them back. So that's a, another part of what they do. They also provide court security. Uh, the sheriff's offices in Utah are statutorily obligated to provide uh, court security in state courts. So uh, the districts, you have first, second, third, fourth here in Utah County, where the fourth district court, so the district courts in um, uh, Provo, Orem, Spanish Fork, American Fork, uh, the Sheriff's Office provides uh, court security in those facilities, as well as the juvenile courts in Utah County. Um, emergency services is another part of uh, uh, where we have enforcement uh, responsibilities. Uh, you get stuck or injured up in the mountains or you get lost uh, in these mountains here behind us, then uh, our emergency services will come and help find you. In there we have Search and Rescue, that's a volunteer organization. We also have the Sheriff's Mounted Posse. We have the uh, Sheriff's Communication Team uh, that provides radio communications for us. And we have, uh, uh, we have a Volunteers and Police Service that uh, our citizens who, who decide that they want to be a part of uh, volunteering and helping, uh, helping the public. So there's a, a broad range of opportunities uh, at the sheriff's office if you decide that you you want to apply for one of these enforcement positions or you know somebody who is interested and is looking for something like that uh, i can tell you after uh, more than 30 years here at the sheriff's office i wouldn't want to be anywhere else 
uh, enforcement in and of itself, some of the specific responsibilities are the same as you might have with a police, a city police agency or a, a statewide agency. But with the sheriff's office, you, you live local, you get to cover areas like this. Uh, we may have uh, people up here doing uh, some of their responsibilities, either patrolling or responding to calls up here. And then in the afternoon, they may be out on the west side of the valley, uh, but uh, or the west side of the county. But it's an incredible opportunity. The people who work this love it. We have people who have come here from other agencies. Uh, we have people that come uh, to our enforcement uh, division from the jail as well. Um, if you're interested in that or you know somebody who is, put them in touch with us and we'd love to have them apply and give them an opportunity to work with us.